Hey everyone and welcome back. So, so this video is a recreation of something which was quite popular on a channel previously uh, that I've made and that process is now a little bit outdated. So this is going to aim to address some of those issues we'll be creating in this video will be a kind of standalone just to get videos working inside of the Unreal Engine and using the media player. And this in the next video will lead on to actually making a chroma material so that we can remove a certain color from the video to display uh, some interest processes like I've got playing in the background. This was previously made as a prototype project for some paid work and we were looking at seeing if we could remove the background from a performer's video so that we could potentially show this to groups of people in VR, make it look as though they're walking around on a stage or something which is why I've got that kind of really simplistic background there. So I'm not going to worry about the backgrounds in this but just looking at the video stuff. This video is going to be for getting the video and the media player working. The next video will be the chroma specific content. We'll move on to the content. This is an empty project pretty much. I've got some base materials from my template project and I've just changed the background here a little bit so that the video will be easier to see. I've really just changed the skybox to be a, a single color. The first thing you will need though, regardless of whether you're just doing the video player or the chroma as well, is a video to play. I have a link that I'll put in the description here. This is a good place to get a set of free videos. They're all MP4s, so they will definitely work. And they're all chroma, so if you are following the next video, then they'll work for that as well. So go and check out this guy, Reeve ASW. He's got some free videos linked in the Dropbox and the Drive here. And they just look like this, which is what we'll be importing into the Unreal Engine. So when you have all of that ready, pop back over to the Unreal Engine and the first important thing to get the video player work is that we need a new folder in the root directory. We need to call this movies with a capital M. So the naming of this is actually quite important. And once we have our movies folder, we want to navigate to wherever you've downloaded the video and we're going to import this. So we're going to import to game and specifically into the movies folder. So my video, I have just downloaded to the desktop directory. Uh, it's called GRN SCRN, so green screen. So I'm just going to open this into the Unreal Engine. And this hasn't actually imported the video. This has made a file media source. So if we go and click into open this, the first thing that it wants is a file path to the media source. Now there are two ways you can do this. You can reference this on the desktop as it was, or you can bring the movie into the project. So if you bring the movie in, obviously that's going to add some extra space requirements in the project. The good thing is, is that you can then hand this over to other people if you're sharing the project and guarantee that they're going to have that movie available to reference as well. Of course, if you are just using this on your own desktop, then you can leave this in the, uh, the desktop folder here. Now what I'm going to do just to be safe is bring the video into the project as well. So I'll go to the movies folder. I'm going to right click in this and show this in Explorer and then I'm just going to go to the desktop. I'm going to grab the movie video then I'll go back in to the movies folder and paste this into the project. So that is now in the Unreal project as well and now if we go back to our media source what we can do is we can change this directory. So I'm just going to make the directory the movies folder. Make sure that we double click to uh, select the video that we want and we can see the exclamation mark over here has gone now because it has a hard reference to this uh, and we can also drop this down and pre-cache the file to make sure if possible this will read and play from memory. So the next thing we want to do is create the media player which will link to our video. So again still in the movies folder I'm going to right click and go to media. We want the media player option and if we just tick the video output media texture asset this will create a texture ready for us to use. I'm just going to call this one the green screen media player and you can see once I filled the name out it populates the texture and gives it the same uh, naming convention. So inside of this this is what we can use to actually view our video inside of the media player. If we double click the option down here the only video we have then we get our video playing in the background. Now two things I want to mention. The first one is we want to make sure that the play on open is uh, ticked by default so this will automatically play. And I'm also going to set this to loop so that whilst we're testing, especially in the next video for the green screen stuff, this will keep looping so we can do live tests to see how we can filter out the color and things like that. So just test this to looping so you don't need to keep pressing uh, play and closing. With that done though, that is the media player ready to go. We actually don't need to worry about the texture very much. All of the default options we have have here are perfectly fine but we're going to use this in a moment to create our material. If we go back to the main window we can go and find a default plane. I'm going to drag this in 
pull this up a little bit, we we'll rotate this first of all in 90 degrees this way. So we've got 90 degree rotation on the Y and then also 90 degrees on the X as well. And I'm just going to position this a little bit further back uh, because I know that where the player start is at the moment, we're not going to be able to see the video properly. And then finally, if we just move this up and we'll give this a slightly bigger scale, try and keep it to a kind of 16 by nine ratio because that's what the video is set to play as. So that'll obviously stop any stretching. So I'm going to make this eight by 4.5 just because otherwise this would be too big. And if we press play, we can see that is perfectly in view. In fact, that might be a little bit too far back now. So I'll just bring that a little bit closer. Okay, so now when we press play, that is fully in view, which is perfect. What we want to do finally is create our material. So if we find our texture, we can just drag this onto the object and it will create a material for us. With that done, we're actually ready to go. So the final step to actually get this playing is we're gonna to go to the blueprints folder, go to the level blueprint. And generally I don't like working with the level blueprint. I'd probably in a full project nest this in a game mode or something so that when the game mode starts, we're gonna do this just so that it's easier to get references to things because we want the uh, material in the world. Uh, we're gonna do it in the level blueprint for now. So all we really want is to add a new variable. I'm gonna call this one the media player ref and we're going to change the variable type to be the media player. So we want the option here under object types and an object reference. Just hit compile so that we can preload in the green screen media player, the one that we created a bit earlier. Hit compile. We can control drag this into the event graph and then off of our reference, we just want to use the open source node. So we have the media player open source. The source is going to be the green screen media that we've made. And then we can just plug this in to the event begin play. So this is important. If you skip this step, then nothing's going to happen. In fact, I'll just demonstrate that this is the only thing we're changing. So if we go back in now, remember we've got the material applied to this. We press play, nothing's going to happen because it's not set to play any actual source media yet. If we go in and hook this back up, we can go in here, press play again, and the video will be working straight away. So the reason that I made a point of this is, as I said, when I've created this in the past, I think people forget this step. They follow everything else and forget to actually hook the event begin play up to actually play a media source. And then obviously you get the comments saying that it doesn't work. So make sure that you do that step uh, that is important to actually get something working. With all of that done though, that is the media player and the video specific section of this done. So like I said, you can use any video tool for this. I've used the Chroma material just because I know that we're gonna need that for the next part if you're following along with that. If not, then this is the video section done uh, and this is how you play video inside of Unreal and use the media player. So I will leave this video here for now. As always, if you enjoy these videos or find them useful, please do leave a like and share the video around. And that really does help to grow the channel make all of this possible to keep going and reach as many people as possible with the hopefully useful content. And of course, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing to be kept up to date with any of the content coming from any of the playlists on the channel. As ever though, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.